Yo, what's good, y'all? One Piece chapter 1063 is just barely out. Before we get started, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're trying to get these channel numbers up and phew, let's get straight into it, man. So we'll start this week off with the cover page and yeah, bro, it's actually happening. Cracker is frozen, Pudding is kidnapped, and this is a time of crisis for Whole Cake Island. I think Aokiji just went in there and ran amok. He probably has the Poneglyph as well, and he's working for Blackbeard, so that means if he does have Pudding plus a Poneglyph, Blackbeard now has a Poneglyph and someone to read them. This is not good. But getting into the chapter, we pick up where we left off with Luffy, Chopper, and Bonnie, and they've eaten to their heart's content. They're super fat now. Atlas is impressed with how much they've eaten. And after this, she pretty much takes off. He is Vegapunk after all, so she has lots of work to do, I'm sure. After that, Bonnie notices that even though this island is set to tropical mode, they still wear some pretty heavy clothing here, almost as if it's winter. As soon as they turn around, they realize Luffy himself has a winter outfit on. As it turns out, there is another vending machine labeled fashion across the top where they can get brand new outfits. So that's exactly what they do. Bonnie gets an outfit, Jinbei gets a Hawaiian t-shirt, and Chopper also gets an outfit. I'm not gonna lie, I hate the outfits. I hope they go away. <laughs> I hate these outfit designs. I'm sorry, Oda. Of course, this is just another reason to be impressed with Vegapunk's vast knowledge of technology, but they don't even get to enjoy it too long before Luffy realizes they're actually being profiled by a version of Kuma with a police outfit on. This version of this pacifista is a cop on this island. And Luffy uses his observation hockey here. He realizes that this Kuma is not friendly and he said, yo, let's just run. And that's exactly what they do. But of course, the Kuma pursues them. And he's saying that these straw hats, they've eaten food and they've gotten clothes without payment. They are and Luffy responds he's like we're supposed to pay for it dude it just popped out on its own it just seemed free and also you're shooting laser beams at us you're trying to kill us is that not a little bit too harsh for stealing some clothes and some free food so Luffy comes to the conclusion that they're gonna be in big trouble if they don't return this stuff. But then Jinbei responds to Luffy and he says, whoa, 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 we're pirates, bro. We can't just return stuff just because the police come. That would be super bad for our image, dude. We're pirates, we take what we want. So then Luffy has no choice but to fight. Cool. The pacifista prepares another laser and Luffy prepares an elephant gun to counter. But before they can even do that, Bonnie kicks Luffy in the face and Luffy senses it and he basically just allows it to happen because he could have dodged, let's be honest. They both narrowly miss the laser. And after that, Luffy's basically pissed off at Bonnie here. He's telling her, what the hell is your problem? If we don't fight back, we're gonna get hit by these laser beams. And here's where Bonnie gets emotional. She explains to the Straw Hats that Kuma is her only family. So she'd prefer if you don't hurt him. Now, of course, this isn't the real Kuma. This is just a pacifista. But this is where the Straw Hats all come to the realization that that person that Vegapunk turned into a cyborg yeah that was Kuma Kuma is indeed Bonnie's father so now Luffy has to deal with the pacifista all while protecting Bonnie so Luffy's got his work cut out for him but from here we cut to the open sea only to see Blackbeard ship in pursuit of none other than the polar tang 
and oh my god law is saying that if we get hit one more time we're gonna be crushed by water pressure of course the polar tang is a submarine so water pressure is a thing and right after that everybody starts magically turning into females even law himself and it is just the most bizarre thing the entire crew instantly starts turning into girls and law takes charge here and he says that this is what he learned from the battle with big mom and kaido when you use excessive amounts of hockey devil fruit powers can be canceled i think that's pretty much a testament to the way luffy uses hockey and law took note of that before when they were in dress rosa that luffy uses hockey different he uses excessive amounts of hockey so that's what law does here and he turns himself back into a man as they surface we see none other than doc q of the blackbeard pirates saying that he's actually impressed that he broke off that disease that turns you into a woman and that's kind of wild oh i'm not gonna lie being a woman is definitely not a disease but nonetheless doc q is the holder of the sick sick fruit we also get a panel of jesus burgess doing some heavy lifting in the background and that's because he's the holder of the reeky reeky fruit the power power fruit we also get van arca here he's revealed to have the warp warp fruit that kind of explains how blackbeard is able to just get around so quickly how he was just able to be an amazon lily now he's going to wherever law is going to to ambush them it always seemed like blackbeard was able to get around the world super fast the warp warp fruit makes total sense here law notices that someone is coming from the island that they were headed toward and they realize it's actually burgess and he's not on the island the island is on him he's able to lift the island in the air and throw it at them or at least part of the island via his new found devil fruit powers at this point law is like damn this is a real deal code red they've got superhuman strength the contagious fruit the instant teleportation fruit like the blackbeard pirates are really a problem now as burgess tosses the island at law of course law is able to easily counter it with opening an island sized room he's done that already so it ain't a real big deal but this is bad and at this point flying in making his grand entrance on the back of stronger who has the pegasus fruit by the way is none other than the captain himself blackbeard and blackbeard just loves to take the piss out of people when he sees them after a long time doesn't he he pulls up on law and he's like yo law it's you it's been a long time law's like what the hell are you doing here and blackbeard's like hey man don't ask me that we're the worst generation after all bro he he loves taking the piss out of his peers doesn't he anyways he explains to law that either him kid or straw hat it didn't really matter who departed wano he figured one of them was gonna come to this island next and he was waiting for them of course we get the panel revealing blackbeard and doc q and stronger look like they are in hell of pain supporting blackbeard right now but he tells law he knows that kaido had a poneglyph and he's here to take all of law's poneglyphs to which law smirks and says me too so the winner takes all god dang hell of a chapter i am not gonna lie guys i am terrified for law here um just from a story standpoint i don't really see how he doesn't die you know blackbeard really doesn't play games and blackbeard is going after these poneglyphs if he beats law he will have at least three of the four poneglyphs because he'll have kaidos he'll have the one from zo that law got when he was on zo and of course he sent aokiji to go get the one from big mom so he'll be tied up with luffy just like that in the blink of an eye blackbeard made a couple of moves and he's tied with luffy in the race to be pirate king absolutely insane they all got devil fruits of course we knew that blackbeard is a, he's a devil fruit guy he's been hunting devil fruits for a while let me know what you think below is this the end for law did law just get put in a blunt let me know what you think below make sure you drop a like on the video make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell 
This has been Sifu, that guy speaking. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.